This is Obi, a two-year-old dog that's been living with me for the past five months. But he isn't my dog. His real owner is this guy, Mike. Before five months ago, I had never met this guy, never talked to him, never seen him, never knew he existed. So how did I end up taking care of this random stranger's dog? Well, we're gonna have to rewind a bit. Ever since our family guinea pig died a couple years ago, we've wanted a pet whether that be another guinea pig or a dog or something. Both of my parents grew up with dogs and we had one several years ago before he died of old age. So having a dog would be fun, but both me and my brother are in high school now and we won't be around very much longer. So maybe getting a dog right now wouldn't be a good idea after all. About 10 months ago, my parents were watching the local news and they saw a story about a reunion between a dog and his military dad. The dog was being taken care of by a family through Dogs on Deployment, a nonprofit organization for active military who have nowhere to leave their dog while they're deployed. This great organization was founded in 2011 by a dual military couple. They had a dog, JD, who they could not take care of while they were both deployed. Since the start, over 2,000 military-owned pets have been placed in Dogs on Deployment Borders homes. When my parents learned about Dogs on Deployment, they thought it'd be a great opportunity to us to serve the military as a family. My mom did a little more research and went through the process of setting up an account and looking for a dog to board. So now we're on the path to getting a dog. Not one we would keep for years and years, but one we would keep as long as the service person needed us to. As I said, my mom went through the process of setting up an account and looking for a dog to board. So she knows a little more about this than I do. So I'm gonna turn it over to her so she can explain it better. After watching that dog dad reunion, I got on the Dogs on Deployment website to look into it some more. Once there, I realized this was the perfect way for us to bring a pet into our home without having it around for 10 to 15 years when our boys would be gone and we want to travel. I could also tell that this organization didn't leave any detail out. They definitely had all the processes in place to protect both the pet and the boarder. I spent some time filling out our boarding profile. This includes answering questions about what type, size, and number of pets you are willing to board. You also let the owner know through your profile if you have any pets at home now, what type of home and yard you have, fenced in or not, and what type of family you are. Are you an active family that likes to hike, swim at the lake, and be adventurous? Or are you a family that would rather stay in the comforts of your own home? You can also tell them if you are not able to take in certain types of pets, breeds, or pets with special needs. After writing a paragraph about why the owner should pick us, I really felt like I was filling out an online pet dating profile. But I knew that all the questions that were required was in the best interest of our family and that of the pet. Once all of that was set up, I needed to take a test, Boarding 101. This 15 question test was to ensure that we had indeed read the rules and regulations that we were truly ready to be a boarder. Now it was time to find a pet to board. Most pets were at least two hours away from us. Some pets we quickly passed by because of the description their owner left. We were not going to accept a dog that was afraid of men or didn't like children. Finally, after four months of looking, we got a message from Obi's dad, Mike, saying, I read your profile and I think you'd be a good match for Obi. Let me know if you have any questions. And there it was. Obi's profile with the cutest picture of him staring you right in the face. And the rest was history. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. There's a detailed process before acquiring a Dogs on Deployment pet. Dogs on Deployment wants to make sure every owner, boarder, and dog is entirely comfortable with each other before the commitment is made. They know what they're doing. Every situation is a little different. Mike was already deployed overseas and Obi was with somebody he knew for three months before they realized they could not keep him anymore. So Mike turned to DOD, Dogs on Deployment, to find a new home for Obi. We traveled to where Obi was living to meet him in his environment. Since that meeting went well, we had a overnight trial run at our house. So we talked to Mike, reviewed and signed the boarding and care plan, and that was the start of our time with Obi. Obi was a great dog. He fit right in and became one of the family. A couple questions we always get are one, what are your responsibilities? And two, what does it cost you? We're responsible for the health and well-being of Obi while he's with us. So the basic responsibilities are feeding him, playing with him, taking him on walks, taking him to the vet or groomer when needed. We make sure we have a happy and healthy doggo. We also have a responsibility to Obi's dad to keep him updated on things we're doing and uh, supplies he needs. Several times a week we send Mike pictures and videos of things we're doing together. We would even have video calls with Mike so he could see Obi for himself. The next question is about costs. 
charge? Well, it costs nothing to volunteer as a boarder because the pet owner is responsible for all expenses. But if we saw a toy or treat that Obi would love, we'd have to get it for him because he's part of the family. Okay, I'm done now. You can go watch all the cute pictures and videos of Obi to your heart's content. Where is Obi? Oh. What's the matter? Can you show me? What's the matter? Where's your ball? Did you find a new place to shove it? Where is it? Get it out. Come on. You put it there. You get it out. I'm trying to mop up all of your hands. <laughs> Can I? No. Uh-uh. Hey. Have you given up? <laughs> You're done. You're just not going to let go, but you're also not going to try to get it from me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that face. Oh, I'm so mean to you. That's not how soccer works.
Then comes the day when Mike is returning to the States and he's coming to get Obi. We set up my camera and Obi in the backyard and waited for the reunion of dog and dad. Mike got to our house and walked around the corner to see Obi for the first time in eight months. So confused. He's just confused. Yeah, that's definitely a I remember you. Yeah. He does not do that to uh -uh. your friends. <laughs> And that's it. That's my experience being a boarder for dogs on deployment. But wait, there's one more question people always ask us. Aren't you gonna miss Obi? Yeah, I do. He was my dog for five months, but he's not gone forever. Mike has already sent us pictures of Obi and we'll get to see their adventures from afar. But that's not it. We actually get to see Obi again. That's right, we get to take care of him again because <laughs> Mike's on vacation with his family. And he wanted us to take care of him again. <laughs> At this point in a YouTube video, most people ask you to like and subscribe. I'm not gonna do that. I want you to go down to the description, click on the link for Dogs on Deployment, read more about it, donate, and see if being a boarder is right for you. Whatever the case may be, it's a great opportunity for animal-loving families to have a furry friend and serve our military as well. Thank you Dogs on Deployment for everything you do. You allowed me and my family to have an amazing opportunity to help our military and have a furry friend as well. That's the exact same line you just heard, so I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Thanks Dogs on Deployment, you're cool. I don't know what, I just don't know what else to say. This is not working very well. Step back. Let's step back into the shade. Thank you Dogs on Deployment for everything you do. I'm slowly getting further and further away from the camera, but you didn't notice that. Oh, battery. Say it. Hi. Say, say something. Battery. The battery's gonna die. It's I said battery. It's flashing. That's new thing. Say your last line. Thank you, Dogs and Employment, for everything you do. You're cool and awesome and epic. I'm gonna put this entire conversation between us in the video. <laughs> That's how this is gonna go. Thank you, Dogs on Deployment, for a great opportunity. Thank you, Dogs on Deployment, for a great opportunity.